So, we want to create a cool motion graph whoosh kind of, you know, comes into the frame kind of, um, a intro animation thing. Yep, that was smooth. Hey guys, I'm at this by Kyle. I'm Kyle. today. We're back once again taking a look at how to make this cool, like I said, you know, whooshing in kind of motion graphic um, in Blender. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and drag a box over top of everything. Just click and drag a box over top of everything. Hit delete on your keyboard to get rid of all that stuff. We do not need it. We're going get to get it, get it out of here. We're just going to replace everything. So hit one on your numpad on the right side of your keyboard and hit shift A and search for a... Da, 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 camera boom click that and then you know click the middle mouse button or click the scroll wheel to pan around your scene like this um hit g y to move the camera backwards g and then y on your keyboard left click to move that uh, to confirm that movement then hit zero to go into the camera's view hit shift a and search for a text object hit r then x and on your numpad hit nine zero to uh, to rotate that 90 degrees on the x axis left click to confirm that movement now let's go ahead and grab the text um the text thing over here on the right hand side and we're gonna go ahead and change the alignment to center um like we always do we're gonna open up font hit the little folder and then it should bring up another folder in this folder we're gonna choose uh one of our fonts which i'm just gonna really quickly pick one because i don't believe you can see this window but it's just a font it's my font folders the only thing i'm looking at right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose um why not Arial bold italic very nice font very very interesting very um unique not used a lot you know i don't think pe many people use the the Arial font um hit uh, tab to go into edit mode here and we're going to change what the text says we're gonna just going to change it to um <coughs> text in all capitals there we go um and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll on down until we find the y offset and change the y offset to about uh 0 0.25 0 0.25 something like that there we go nice hit shift hit shift hit s to scale this up or down for now we're gonna leave it about maybe this size right there looks pretty good um i'm gonna, gonna go ahead and hit shift a and we're gonna search for a plane Hit R, X, 90 to rotate that 90 degrees on the X axis. There we go. Then we're going to hit, hit uh, G, Y to move this backwards so it's not like clipping with the text. You can see it's clipping. Then hit G, Y to move it back behind the text a little bit. There we go. So it's like this is where the text is. And then the thing is a little bit behind it. There we go. Nice. Hit um, S, Z to scale this on the Z axis. Make it a little skinnier like that. Boom. Hit zero to go back in the camera's view. Uh, hit S, X to scale this on the X axis like this so it's a little bit longer. There we go. And that should be good about right there. Now, with all of this done, we're going to go ahead and oops, we're going to go ahead and animate this now. So let's go ahead. We have basically everything we need. We need the materials. But other than that, we're good to go. So let's do the materials real quick, actually, first. Um, select the text. Go to the text tab. Do the, go to the material tab. Sorry. Hit a little drop down. Change it to material. And then go ahead and change the surface from surface to emission. There we go. And then make sure um, when you go to the main tab here, scroll on down to color management and then changes from filmic to standard. So now the actual colors will be the actual colors you see instead of it being tinted with like some kind of film in overlay. Um, now, um, with that done, let's go ahead and grab the the background, this little piece right here, this little bar, the little sensor bar. Um, hit new and we'll change this to a black color, but we'll change it to emission first. So emission, black, boom, easy. Now with that done, um, what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and um, go to the render tab so you can see what this looks like real quick. So render viewport, not tab. Render shading up here on the top right. So this is what it looks like basically. This is what we have. Um, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make it so this kind of slides in. So let's go to the main tab here, um, right here, which is the uh, output properties uh, tab. And change the frame rate from 24 to 60. Boom. Now on the zero frame right here, change my frame to zero. Um, on the zero frame. I'm going to select the black bar and go to frame. Actually, we'll go to like frame 30 first. Actually, wait, we'll go to like 40 first. Then hit I, location. Then on frame 0, hit G, X, and move this. Oh, wait, actually, we'll move, move it over here actually first. Hit G, X, and then move it about right there. Just so it's off of the camera, right? Right, so it's right on the edge of the camera. There we go. Hit I, location. And then we'll move up to about maybe frame 10. Hit G, X, and then move it almost all the way up, about right there. Hit I, location. Now, when we play this, you can see that it does something like this. Woo, woo, 
very cool um now with the text i kind of want the text to come in like this did but i want it to come in late so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact animation but uh this time we're gonna make it a little bit a little bit slower so on frame 40 hit i location then on frame 10 with g and move it about this way like about right actually about right here hit i location and then on frame zero we'll move it all the way over here now it's going to be because this is right off the edge of the camera it, it'll be like a little slower as you can see because it'll it, it didn't have as much time to go so because it had this the back bar to go way up you get what i'm saying you probably don't but it doesn't matter all right let's go ahead and continue uh and you can see we have this now but what i want to do is i want to offset this so the text comes in a little bit later so let's go ahead and make sure all of these keyframes are selected by just clicking and dragging a box over the top of them all until they're yellow like this if they're yellow that means they're all selected hit g um, to, to move these so hit G to move we'll move them over by five frames So we'll put the first frame on frame five instead of on frame zero So now when we play this you can see it comes in a little bit afterwards, which looks pretty cool um, There we go. And I also maybe want it to be a little slower So let's grab these first two keyframes and then hit G and move them up about maybe ten frames Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Maybe it's a little too slow now. Maybe Move back by five There we go. That looks pretty sweet. I like that. Nice. So with that done what we're gonna do now is uh, we need to go ahead and use transparency for the background. So go to the main tab here, go down to filmic, hit, hit transparent, and I can see the background is transparent. And if you want to render this with transparent background, make sure you go to the main tab here, scroll on down to file format and change it changes to FFMPEG video, open uh, encoding, uh, changes from Matroska to QuickTime, change the video codec to FFMPG video codec number one, and then make sure RGBA is checked. RGBA means red, green, blue, alpha. Alpha means it'll render with transparency in the background instead of it being solid black. Now, with this done, you can see we have basically everything sorted. We need to make the exiting animation though. So about on frames 160 is where we'll end it. So in frame 160, um, and then for both the text and the background in this little bar. So let's go, just click and drag a box over top of both of them. So we animate them together. I'm going to change. I'm going to go to frame 140, 130 like this. Hit I, location. And then we'll go to frame 160. Hit G, X, and move them all the way off the side of the screen here. Hit I, location. And then on maybe frame uh, 150, we'll move it so it's all... Eh... We'll move it so it's about like right here. So it doesn't doesn't move too fast. I location. There we go. There we go. So there we go. That looks pretty good. Um, I do want maybe like three frames at, at the end. So let's go ahead and bump this up to this 163. Maybe. Maybe five. We'll do five frames. It comes in like that and goes out and then comes back in. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. I want the text to also come in a little bit after, uh, leave a little bit late. Sorry. So we're going to move these back by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then now the text leaves as late as well as comes in, um, late as well, which looks really cool. So let's go ahead and oh, maybe that's a little too late. I don't want it to be off of the, uh, the black. So we'll move it up by two frames. Maybe by three frames, a little, a little awkward there in the end. There we go. Nice. Okay. So with that done, I'm gonna select the camera, go to the camera tab, go to viewport display and turn passer part two all the way up now when we play this you can see that it looks something like this comes in woo, 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 and goes out and it just like loops itself essentially so it looks really really cool um this is super simple to do as well now let's go ahead and maybe i want to actually rotate this camera so this little askew which could look kind of cool let's go ahead and select the camera hit r and then double tap z and you can rotate this like this which looks pretty freaking sweet let's go ahead and move it about right there and you can see the edges are kind of like cut off because it wasn't long enough so let's go ahead and turn uh, change the focal view up a little bit so it's a little bit uh zoomed in there we go nice with this done you can see that we now have a cool little thing oh that looks sweet look at that nice no, looks really cool i like this this reminds me of like um what is that game? Driver San Francisco. You guys remember that game? Driver San Francisco or, or Overwatch as well. It kind of looks like Overwatch a little bit, but with, with, with black. But yeah, so that's pretty sweet. I um, really do enjoy this. This looks pretty sweet. I uh, hope you guys learned something new today. I love this one. It's very simple, but it just looks really, really cool for literally no reason at all. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.